Hi everyone, let's do a short introduction of myself. My name is Naomi. I come from a very tiny country called Singapore. Um, I started my new journey as a calf candle artisan somewhere on March 2019. However, I went overseas on February 2018 to learn the arts of calf candles and bring back the skill to my country. Um, Currently, I'm the only person who knows how to make such unique uh, candles in Singapore. As this is something new in Singapore, many people thought that this is a porcelain or clay with wax in it. Well, this is neither of it. It is 100% made of wax. Uh, as you can see, the core candles will have to go through a hand dipping process of about 20 to 30 layers of warm wax. Thereafter, carving will take place and need to be completed within 15 minutes before the wax cool down. Once the wax cool down, it's become hard and carving is not possible. In my previous video, I've shared how I quit my job and how I discern for my new journey. You can check those videos at the link on the top right hand corner. After I realized the passions to do baptism calf candle, I start to research on where I can pick up the skill. Um, it was a tough research as calf candle is not commonly known. So as usual, I prayed to God for help to show me the way. Discerning is a very hard topic for Christian. I'm still pretty afraid what if I discern wrongly. So I continue to pray, O oh Lord, if it is your will for me to inscribe meaningful details of baptism information onto calf candle, please grant me a smooth application for the travel. As it wasn't easy to plan the trip, you need some kind of invitation letter in order to apply for visa application. I'm glad we've got grace, everything went smoothly. I'm a travel lover and have no problem traveling alone. But for once, I feel pretty fearful to travel alone. Perhaps it is because my destination is Russia. It reminds me of Soviet Union. It was a very long flight and one of my longest flight I ever have had. And I was lucky no one was sitting beside me so I slept really well on three empty seats. I think it was also my eagerness to pick up the skill that has helped to keep me awake for the day one training. I was very excited to start my day one, but at the same time, I'm very worried if I can pick up the skills within seven days. So for the next seven days, every day I end up praying to God, if it is your will, please grant me the wisdom to carve good candles. I always end my days by giving thanks to God for wisdom and protection. On day one, my trainer has been very patient on guiding me, but somehow I wasn't feeling confident. I'm pretty anxious. It felt like there were a lot of butterfly in my stomach. In the late afternoon, when her colleague walked in to start her project, to my surprise, I received good compliment from her that I did very well on my first day. Thanks to her compliment, it helps to ease up my tensions. By the way, these calf candles come with a personalised gift box. The tutorial on how to make the gift box can be found on the link at the top right hand corner. Usually when I travel alone, I depend heavily on Google Map to move around. But applying for a data SIM card seems complicated. My trainer tried to help me out with it, but 
later we decided to give up on applying. For once, I was being put into situations to depend on my human memories and instinct in a foreign land. This journey also teach me how to adapt to changes, how to communicate without languages, and how to depend on God for survival. I've been praying a lot for protections. Whenever I cannot find peace, I know I need to turn back. I'm so surprised even up to today how I managed nine days in Russia without any Wi-Fi help. I love to try local food when I travel. After each training end, I will travel to the nearest supermarket to look for snacks and food. They have a section for food, but I have no idea how to order as all the food looks so alien to me. So I decided to stand there for about 15 minutes so that I can learn more about the human behaviour. Thereafter, I used body language to order my first meal for dinner. I tried to order things that the local frequently purchased. However, on the second day onwards, I just anyhow choose the dishes and it turned out that on the third day, I found something I liked a lot. So I kept ordering it for the next few days. I love potatoes and one of the potato salads tastes extremely good. In fact, my faith has been tested a few times in Russia. I'm glad I hold on to my faith strongly. One day after training end, my trainer tried to give me a quick briefing on where I can walk about for the next few days. During the briefing, we came by a statue of a banker. I can't remember the whole story already. I will shed whoever touched him, especially business people, will have good business and become rich. As a new startup, of course, I got tempted to touch the statue. But my heart tells me I rather rely on God's blessing. Thus, I did not touch it while my trainer kept encouraging me to do so. I even have a feeling now that she might thought that I was shy to touch. But the truth is, I was trying hard to fight against my temptations. After my training end, I fly back to Moscow and spend my last day there before flying home. I did a quick one-day guided tour at Moscow. One of it is the visit to the metro's train station, which is famous for the bronze statue where my faith got tested again. The most popular is the bronze border dog at Postchart Revolusi stations. People believe when you touch its nose, it will bring good luck. I was glad once again I hold on to my faith for not touching it as that would have fallen into the sins of idealizations. I finally got panicked on my last day in Russia. What has happened at Moscow? Stay tuned to my next calf candle video to find out more. This is one of the hot selling color scheme. This calf candle size is small. There is a size extra small version with the same color scheme. The link can be found on the top right hand corner. Which sizing do you prefer and why? Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to my channel for more carving candle video and to know more about me and my faith journey sharing. Do also click onto the notification bell so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded.